Hello again, YouTube. Um, today I'm going to do a, a very short video on MPPT uh, performance. You know, there are a lot of people that, you know, have questions about, you know, whether or not to get an MPPT, or a, which is a maximum PowerPoint tracking uh, charge controller, or to get a standard PWM charge controller. And this is a short video to kind of show folks, you know, what I mean by when it takes the higher voltage and, you know, with, through a DC to DC conversion circuit within the uh, charge controller itself, it will lower the voltage and increase the amperage, you know, while still maintaining the power to charge the batteries. Now, what you see right now is, right now my system It's at 27 volts, and right now it's you know it's it's essentially full. The system is fully charged, and right now the only thing that's happening is the charge controller is just simply float charging it. Um, it's at 100%, so my batteries are good to go. These are two Morningstar MPPT uh, 15 amp each uh, Sunsaver um, uh, charge controllers. They've been in service for going on two years, and they are doing very well. This charge controller is hooked to my first solar array, and they're basically two 12 volt panels in series for a total of um, it'll basically it'll get like 40 volts, uh, 36 and a half, 40, you know, all, all the way up to 40 volts. Today is a really clear day, sunny day, and it's pretty relatively cool. And the voltage got to 40 volts. This is this charge controller is is connected to my second array. And it's connected to two 24 volt, uh, volt panels in series, and the voltage is around 60 volts. Okay, the maximum that these uh, charge controllers will handle is around 70, 75 volts, or something like that. I, I don't remember; it's been a while. But anyway, around around that. Okay, and as you can see right now, this particular my battery bank is fully charged. Now, since I have a MagnaSign uh, inverter, uh, PureSign 3, it's a uh, 4,000 watt PureSign inverter, and it also has a battery charger and an automatic transfer switch uh, with it, and it's connected uh, to my house, my house mains through that particular box. And it's actually pulling uh, power from the grid, uh, just 120, to help charge the batteries and to detect whenever there is a power failure. Now, I want you to watch this setting. And also, I'm going to, right now I got a uh, voltage meter, okay, and I'm going to test the voltage coming in. If I can. Okay, I got my two leads here, and you can see that it's uh, it's basically 61 volts 61 61 volts now I'm gonna pull the power and so once I pull the power you'll see this ch this change and my uh, remote control unit says it's inverting now I got four primary circuits uh, through my uh, my manual transfer switch, which I'm using as a sub panel. And right now, uh, my those four main circuits are being uh, energized through my MagnaSign inverter and through my battery bank of 12 AGM uh, deep cycle batteries. Now I want you to see the voltage as I attempt to get it together here. Okay, I've got the leads on there, and you can see. The voltage is now 50 volts. It was 62, now it's down to 50. Okay, And what does that mean? Well, this means that this is lowering the voltage to increase the amperage so that my uh, batteries will still you know, continue to be charged. This is the benefit, again, this is the benefit, okay, you can see now it, it flu is fluctuating between 50 and it got down to like 49 for a second ago. Again, it's this is the difference. This is the benefit of having an MPPT charge control, a good one. Okay, these Morning Stars are good. I, I do not sell Morning Stars. Okay, as you can see now, it's down to 46, and my batteries are still, you know, the amperage is still going to my batteries. It's still in the positive, so to speak. It's still in the positive, and as you can see with my controller, it's still it's still inverting. It's still inverting.
Okay, still inverting, and again, power is still going to my batteries through the morning stars. Right now, the voltage is down to 45, which is more than enough for a 24, a 24 volt uh, battery bank. Okay, now again, I just want to illustrate the benefits of having an MPPT charge controller. Now, I'm going to plug this back in. I'm going to plug this back in. Okay, it's plugged in, and this should go from inverting to charging. Okay, it goes from inverting to charging. You can see that, you know, it's trying to, you know, it, it's pulling power, you know, from the out, brief, just a little bit of power, not much. And you'll see that it goes into float charging right away because my, my batteries are, you know, still full. And uh, let's check, uh, let's check the voltage. Okay, I've got the leads on there, and as you can see, the voltage, you know, it's, uh, excuse the glare, but the voltage is back up to 60 volts, 60 volts, okay? It's raising the, amp the voltage, and it's lowering the amperage, why? Because it's going into float charging, okay, because my batteries are full, okay? Now, this is, the, again, the reason why you may want to consider a maximum power point tracking charge controller, an MPPT charge controller, and whenever you do get a charge controller, get a good one, okay? Get a good one. There's a, there's a lot of good ones out there, but after two years, I've got to say these morning stars are still, you know, uh, chugging along, okay? All right. Thanks a lot, YouTube. Have a good one.